the album yes. called Be My Love, which yes. was released on um, Last April week, yeah. Yeah, 22nd. Last week, yeah. I mean, it's just, we've all listened to it. Love it's it, yeah. absolutely fabulous. And it's going back to that era that we all love. I, are people shocked? Did they even know you could sing? Um, I, there's a certain section of the public that knows I sing, yeah. because I do, I've done it for a long, long time. Yeah. But I guess because of the television work that I do, the, yeah. the publicity and the spotlight, you know, focuses on that. Yeah. Um, but it's been really nice to share to a wider audience, you know, the other thing that mm. I do. And I've always had a real passion to do this kind of music and to do it in the way that I've done. Mm. Um, it's been a real thrill. We recorded in Sinatra's favourite um, recording studio. Yeah. Which was both a thrill and a terror as well. It was an intimidating beat. In a way, yeah. I mean, I, I've tried to choose songs that I really, really love, but they weren't so associated with, you know, the great versions. Like, I didn't do My Way, I didn't do Embraceable You. Stuff that, you know, Sinatra or Fitzgerald or, you know... Robbie uh, Williams. Robbie yeah. Williams. <laughs> exactly. Do you know um, what my favourite was? The Waddle song. Oh. Can you do a little bit of What I Do for us? So it's the theme tune for birds, and yeah. he sings it, and it's yeah. so beautiful, honestly. Go on, no a little pressure. bit, please. Yeah, no pressure. Uh, what'll I do when you... Sing it to me. ...are far <laughs> away, <laughs> and I am blue? What'll I, I do? do. Such, uh, there's such charm to this music, and it's timeless and very romantic. So and, romantic. But it speaks to an audience very directly, mm. I think. And that's why it's been, you know, re-recorded and covered by so many different singers. And it's been uh, amazing to add my name to that list. Yeah, yeah. And what is your... Obviously, your passion is, is music. It is. Um, but between the two, are you drawn more to music still, or...? I like things that um, that ch sort of challenge me, excite me, to sort of oh, push I me into doofiness. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you were fantastic. In, you were fantastic in Downton Abbey. Surely hey. the dream thing they're talking now. There's rumours of a Downton Abbey film. Yeah. yeah. But wouldn't your dream bar be to become back to return in the film yeah. singing? Abs yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Or Downton Abbey the musical. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, yeah, you've I obviously like... thought about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I would like to come back. I feel it was an unfinished business. You know, Lady Mary got an upgrade in season. She six. chose the wrong bloke. She chose yeah, the wrong bloke. Totally. Let's be honest about it's it. Great. Julian so Fellows, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> and hang about, um, we got you to sing for us, but there's someone very special that you sang for last week, isn't there? The Queen's. It was. I did birthday. get an invitation uh, to sing at uh, the Queen's 90th birthday. I was. Um, I was anticipating kind of coming out of a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been awesome. <laughs> Dressed in, I don't know, Union Jack lycra. Or <laughs> We need the hair dryer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> had they ha did you were you the after dinner entertainment? Yes. Right. Yeah, there were a few so, a few performers. I mean, it was yeah. it was an amazing thing to do. I mean, yeah. because a lot of those things are very formal, very kind of quite tense yeah. affairs, ceremonial things. But this was just a family, mm -hmm. um, in a very intimate well, as intimate as you can get in the Windsor Castle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What were they what were they serving? <laughs> I don't know. We didn't have. We didn't. We didn't feed you. We didn't get the posh meal. No. What were they? Yeah. Were they drinking? Were they a bit tiddly? Uh, What's the Queen drinking? Yeah. Was she drinks. She, drinks, she drinks gin, shots. I think. No, gin. Gin. She drank I what? Think. Gin. Yeah. Gin. Yeah. Gin. I think so. Oh, she don't know, I think she drinks wine. More. Right. And what did you sing to her? Yeah. What was your kicking off song? Uh, to warm them up. What was the warm up song? <laughs> <laughs> bit of R and B. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me by Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, yeah, he got. Yeah, there was a great ventriloquist there who took him up and, and made and really took the mickey out of him. He was great there. He was very, yeah, he was very game. So it was probably all just close family and they could just relax like any. Yeah, like, a, like any normal yeah, yeah. 90th birthday, I suppose, yeah. apart from, you know, you're in Windsor Castle. Are you kind of pinching yourself that you were in this. I mean, this is a surreal moment to Completely be. Completely surreal. And he's met the Queen before because your dad was the Queen's vicar, wasn't That's he? True. That's, true. That's amazing. Did you think your dad got you the gig? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he hasn't asked for commission. Oh, there's, your <laughs> there's your dad there. There's my dad. Oh, He's a good how man. lovely. Did there's you a... give the Queen a copy of your album on the way out? No, I told her to download on Amazon. <laughs>
We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. Addicted to banana grams. Really? Oh, yeah. Who wins? Scary. Well, this is where it gets really <laughs> bad, because I'm really good at Scrabble. Yeah. So I know all those little two-letter words. Maggie doesn't know them. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets very, very cross if I play. 